just a quick word about this engine bay in the middle which um, I had to rebuild you can see it's covered in blue carpet it's all made out of marine ply because the old one basically this top bit in the back section which uh, I'll show you this section is all bowed with the old one this is the only photograph I've got of the old engine cover. Now the old one was made out of 12 mil marine ply and I decided to make the new one out of um, 19 which is obviously heavier but much stronger. You can see um, if I move this front bit the engine bay would have originally come to here in the boat but um, this is dead space basically so Having a look underneath, the engine doesn't come that far forward. Now, just to show you what I've done, um, this stuff um, we ordered is basically a noise insulator. Um, it's made the engine sound, the boat a lot quieter when the engine's running, and um, the whole engine bay is insulated in that, it also insulates against heat and it's quite thick stuff and it's quite heavy actually as well so it has added a bit of weight to the boat and you can see um, hardwood supports on each bit which are bolted in with um, stainless steel bolts or screwed in with stainless steel screws so that just slots in Okay. On the top one, you can see they are heavier than they were, due mainly to the insulation, I think. So you can see, <clears throat> substantial. The two side bits are made out of 12 mil. It's all been covered in this carpet, which is... Um, from a place I believe called Vans Direct or Van Mats and it's designed for use in bogs that can transport type vans or boats um, good stuff really good stuff easy to work with and tough so this insulation I say everything's made out of 19 mil on the top uh, 12 mil. I think this front one's 12 mil, and this is 19 on the floor. And you can see it covers the engine nice. It's all insulated, and there's the automatic fire extinguisher because it's a petrol engine. So if the heat goes up to about 70 odd degrees, then the um, then that'll kick in, and it's um it's a gas type which uh, powder would obviously damage the engine so we use it's um it's the modern equivalent of halon but you don't want to be anywhere near it when it goes off because it'll literally take your breath away um these are clamped together at the front and as you can see you can then dismantle the whole engine bay and you can have as much room as you want to work on the engine when required.